Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from Santa Anita Park on Friday, March the 9th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle. Southern California race of the day. Let's take a look at race 6 this afternoon, folks. 3.37 p.m. Pacific post time. 8.5 furlong route test on the dirt track. 3-year-old fillies race for an optional Fleming prize of some $58,000. Contenders number 5, Sage Doro. Number 4, Indecise. Number seven, Gemma Maz, Pearl, and number two, Speedway Monkey. Number five, Sage Doro, takes a class drop of two units this afternoon as the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field. Racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in three straight starts with her last two efforts, including a win in her second race back, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Joel Rosario was in her irons for those last two board hit races. It's back today for ride number three. Number four, Indecise has hit the board in each of her four career starts to date, including a win to break her maiden in her third race back. Race six summary, number five, Sage Doro tops my contenders list, which also includes number four, Indecise, number seven, Jamima's Pearl, and number two, Speedway Monkey, 5472. In the six today from Santa Anita Park. Bonus long shots, Mountaineer Park, race five, number eight, Heli Nia's My Mom, 8 to 1 in the morning line, takes a 6 level class drop. Nice overall speed for this 6 for a long sprint. Turf Paradise, race 5, the 4 to 1 shot. Number 2, Lo Lonely and Free, the overall speed leader in this allowance field, racing at or about today's distance of 7 and 1 half furlongs on the turf. So from Santa Anita on a Friday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.